Not so long ago, the end of the fossil fuel era seemed to be in sight. Now the U.S. is expected to surpass Saudi Arabia as the world's largest producer of oil by 2020. And by 2030, North America is expected to become a net energy exporter. We're about to board the Noble Bully One, an advanced drill ship that was developed by Royal Dutch Shell. Welcome to the Noble Bully One. It is drilling wells for Shell in the Mississippi Canyon section of the Gulf of Mexico, about 120 miles south of New Orleans. Ultra deep water drilling is expected to play a key role as the global population hits 9 billion and energy needs double. The water's gotten deeper, the wells have gotten deeper and much more technically challenging. Uh, easy oil, where I started out, like in East Texas, has pretty much been found and now to meet the needs of the nation we need to go out in these deeper waters and go for the deeper oil. The Noble Bully doesn't look anything like a conventional drill ship. It's shorter, narrower and lighter, and more automated. It has 160 contract workers, about 40% fewer than the previous generation of ship. The Bully's great distinguishing feature, however, is its fully enclosed white tower, which replaces the typical open derrick style towers that have characterized oil rigs for generations. Technology on the Bully, which includes built-in GPS, wind sensors, motion sensors and compasses, a hydraulic system and computer-controlled thruster propellers on the bottom of the vessel allows the rig to guide a 21 and a half inch wide drill bit thousands of feet below the surface to the center of a target that is only about four by four feet in size. The ship has unmanned submarines equipped with robotic arms and high-definition video cameras. They can be shot off the ship and guided into the drilling operation on the ocean floor if needed. The result, Shell says, is that the bully can drill faster than conventional ships, creating a well in seven to nine days. The exploration and drilling technology at work in Mars has extended the projected life of the field. It already has surpassed the 700 million mark and now expects to recover an additional one billion barrels, one of the many steps toward an increasingly energy independent West. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Steve Rosenbush reporting from the Gulf of Mexico.